And so what we're going to do next is we're going to set up the component cables, which are the green, blue, and red cables that come with it. First thing we're going to do is disconnect the yellow video cable. I'm going to set up the cables now. Now I'm lucky enough that I know pretty much exactly where these cables go here on my screen. It's a little bit annoying for me because my monitor has them directly, directly under instead of on the back. So you won't be able to see me putting them in. But I pretty much know exactly where they should go. So. Pretty much. Yeah. That's the green cable. I'm going to move my controller out of the way so it doesn't fall on the floor here. Got the green cable in. Blue cable. And the red cable. And the red cable. Oh, haven't gotten that in yet. What's going on here? One, two, three. Again, this will be a lot easier for other people because regular TVs and home theater systems have these on the back instead of on the bottom. You can see at the back here I've got all these different connections for all, everything I have set up. But it's going to be much easier for everybody else. There we go. Okay. And of course, since everything's color coordinated, it's really simple. <laughs> The only thing you really have to worry about is mixing up your red from the video and your red from the audio. And most people should be able to differentiate very easily from that. Also, they are separated from each other, not together. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now the difference here between what I did before and what I'm doing now is that I'm going to actually be changing the input on my monitor now. And I'm not going to have it coming directly from my video source here. Or well, my computer, but it should work exactly the same way. I turn on the system. At first, it says no signal. I'm going to switch over to HDTV. Hmm. Let me try that again. Shut it off. Turn it on again. Should be set to HDTV now. And there we go beautiful high-definition screen. I'm going to turn on my controller again by holding that button. It'll start flashing and then it'll go to whatever, uh, well, whichever number it is. We're now signed into Xbox Live automatically. It signs you right in when you're ready to go. We're going to go into the system, the console settings, system in the console settings. Currently it's set to 480p on the screen, but we're going to put it up as far as we can to 1080i, and that's second best pretty much. Re uh, the difference between P and I is that your resolution will either be lines interlacing, which is I, and P, progressive scanning, which is clear screen at all times. I'm going to set the HDTV settings to 1080i. You have the option for P, but if you've got the component cable set up, it won't work because they can only go to I. And there we go. We set up for that. And you can just continue on doing exactly what you're doing. Pretty easy. And there's one more thing that we're going to do next, and that's set up the HDMI cable. And again, you're going to have to turn off the system again if you want to do it like this. It's really simple. Turn off the system. 
this is where it gets a little different though. You turn off the system, you take out your regular video cables here, take the HDMI cable, Microsoft provides nicely with the Elite a very nice and pretty average size cable. It's pretty long. It goes right into the back of the system here at that little port there, which is right next to the audio video port. Plugs right in. And then it goes right into the back of your TV or your monitor or your uh, home theater receiver, whatever you're hooking it up to. I'm going to turn my display again just so I can see this a little better. And again, so much easier with just a regular home theater system because you don't have to worry too much about well, is it in the back or is it on the bottom? It's always on the back. We should start doing this in my house again. <laughs> And there it goes, right in. Now, here's the difference. Because you're hooking up with the HDMI cable, there's there are two different ways to hook this up. The HDMI cable actually carries both the audio and video signals up to full 1080p and digital 5.1 surround sound, if you've got that set up. If you don't, like I have here with just my monitor, no speakers actually, I mean I've got my computer speakers but they're hooked up to my computer not my monitor. You've got to use this and this is very nice of Microsoft to provide. It's got the optical out for digital settings if you got up to 5.1 Dolby Digital or your regular RCA red and whites. They don't however provide the red and white audio cable you just hook it up to the back of the system like you do your component cables that same piece there except it doesn't have the switch on it I have in here in my drawer here a red and white audio cable and that has the connection on both sides so in here I'm gonna put the red and the white I'm just gonna go around because I don't want to waste too much more of your time here. I'm sure you want to get your system set up as fast as possible so you can start playing. Put in the red and the white into whatever you're hooking it up to. Switch your input to the HDMI input. And again, Turn on your system. Turn on the controller. And in a very little bit, we should get... There we go. And it's really that simple. There's one last thing we have to do to set it up to 1080p, which is the highest setting that you can set it to. And let's go back to this. Actually, it currently did it all by itself. And it's set up to go all on its own. Simple, easy, and then you can start playing. Oh hey, one last thing. There's a reason that I like to have my computer set up this way. My monitor is a pretty special monitor. It's got an audio output. Now I didn't know this at first, but uh, since the HDMI carries the audio and the video, and I have a speaker output for my computer speakers, I hooked up my computer speaker cable right in and I've got audio well, let me turn that up on my monitor to my speakers just a fun fact and it's cool